Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to one of the tallest buildings in Bangkok. We're gonna go on the very top and experience a glass floor, something different. At the moment we're in a taxi and we are on our way to King Power Mahanakon building. This is the thing. This is the building we are going. Go there, up there. Entrance fee is about 880 baht before 6 p.m. and after 6 p.m. it's uh, 1080 baht. It doesn't include a drink, and if you have a very big bag, you would have to leave it in the locker. You can only take a little bag with you on the top roof, and they provide the locker for free, and uh, they will show you how to use it as well. I really like the lifts, uh, something special about the lifts, I've never seen something like this before, uh, enjoy guys. Welcome to Fancy Sleeping Thailand, now we're going up to 34 in the observatory in 50 seconds. Welcome to Sunday 4, you know, after the rain, happy spring. We can't turn the wheel around here and we'll have a nice day. This part of the rooftop reminded me of Q1 on the Gold Coast a little bit. I don't know why, but uh, some similarities. I think the shape of the windows and the design was very similar to Q1 on the Gold Coast Australia. And then you have to go on the escalator upstairs to find an outdoor rooftop with an amazing view of the Bangkok city. Maybe. Yeah, it's just look up there, look at the signs. Glass tree. Straight. Place had another mini lift to go from rooftop with glass to outside rooftop area, but we decided to go for a walk and experience some really cool stairs and just look around. Finally, we found it. Welcome to King Power Mahan Kona building rooftop. They even had their own DJ. There was a bar where you could get a cocktail or an iced coffee. It was a little bit busy, but it looked really nice and 
had a lot of nice areas for Instagram pictures. We were visiting in a low season apparently, but the place was packed, so I don't know what the place looks like in a high season. Probably no spots to walk, there's no place to move around. And this area is my favorite spot with a glass floor. This is the DJ where you can take really cool pictures. Joseph liked this table, yeah? He picked it himself. He liked the chair. Overall, it was a nice place, very chillful. I really liked the DJ and the view was amazing so highly recommended um, I bought the price I wish it was a little bit cheaper I think with the price the little bit pushing it Glasslova is one of my favorite areas. I really enjoyed the view there, but I was really scared to step on the glass. I don't know why, but every time I stepped on the glass, I felt like it's gonna crack and I'm gonna fall like Alice in the Wonderland. So I don't know. Do you guys scared of heights? I usually not scared of heights. But I am scared of the glass floor and I don't know why I have this feeling that it's gonna crack and I'm gonna fly down uh, like Alice in the Wonderland.
Downstairs, a couple of floors, you can find a restaurant. Apparently, this place has a restaurant. So, on the way back downstairs, we wanted to use the mini lift, but for some reason, it was closed and only available for disabled people. Uh, I believe that it's mini lift only open in the mornings and afternoons. On your way to the main lift, there's an interesting fact on the walls about all different highest buildings uh, around the world. As you can see, Burj Al Arab in Dubai is only a little bit taller than um, King Power Mahakon building. On our way back downstairs, uh, we get to enjoy animation inside the lift and it was a completely different theme on the way downstairs and completely different theme when you go upstairs. I felt like I was inside the cartoon and I was part of the story. Very interesting idea to do inside the lift. On the way back to exit, they don't want you just exit. They want you to do shopping, want you to spend even more money. So you will walk through all these shops. Some of them sell really strange stuff, suitcases, ties, makeup, wine. Nothing related to the place we went and nothing related to the King Power Mahakon building. Eh? We want people to go to the shop. Once you're downstairs, you can try Mahakon Sky Rides. I believe it's some kind of uh, virtual reality where you wear uh, goggles and you can fly and see um, buildings and high-rise um, related to Bangkok, I believe. We got really lucky because once we reached downstairs, it started raining and it wasn't just showering, it was a heavy rain. Not many people show bathrooms in uh, Mahakon building, so I'd like uh, you to see their bathrooms. You also get to keep a free cop digital copies of photos they take at the start of your visit to rooftop bar, which is really nice. But I still think the price should be a little bit cheaper than what it is. Thank you for watching, guys, and I see you in my next video.